Howdy folks and welcome back to the DIY HVAC Guy channel. If you're watching this video, you're probably wondering how do I get 220 volts when I have limited access right here? We're gonna show you how to do it and it's very easy. All right, so here's our situation. As you can see, all of these are taken up. This is a double pole breaker. That's how big the 50 amp breaker was that was right here. Uh, these two were spares, as you could see. And this whole, uh, where was it? This whole thing right here was all just for the sub panel. It was a big 50 amp double pole breaker. And what we were able to achieve was the same 50 amp 220 power with these two lugs and now we have a 220 uh, slim breaker, 110 for each of these, that will power our AC. So I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna show you how you can achieve 220 with just a slim breaker like this. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull these out. So this was just to fill in this spot if you have an empty hole here, when you have your front plate on, it's against code. So we needed a couple of breakers there just to fill that spot. All right, this is a GE box. And this lug here is 110. That's one of your 220, that's one leg. And this over here is your other leg. Now you've got these little plastic fins that separate each 110 spot. So what we're doing, as you can see here, this 50 amp breaker right here, we're using that little plastic piece slides in the middle of the breaker right here. So we're tapping into 110 on this side and 110 on this side. Whereas if we just put this breaker right here in between these two plastic fins, we would just have the same lug of 110 and it would not work. It would not power something that requires 220 volts. Now, instead of that, just for example, instead of putting it here, we're putting it here and we're splitting it. We're tapping into both legs of 110 power. So that on a GE box is how you can achieve 220 volts to whatever breaker you want, whatever amperage, and it can be a slim one. So see, this was a normal double pole breaker. We're using half of this space right here and achieving the same thing as what, what we had before. So in doing this, you can open up spaces for an AC or an appliance that requires 220 volts. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If so, make sure to leave this video a like and leave me a comment and let me know what you think. We'll see y'all on the next one. Later.